AMD is what's known as a fabulous semiconductor company. It designs and tests powerful computer chips, then outsources the manufacturing to TSMC. At the current share price, AMD has a market cap of $155 billion, making it the third largest semiconductor company in the US. The company has $6.3 billion of cash and investments on the balance sheet and $1.7 billion of long-term debt, so the enterprise value is $151 billion. Despite the boom in artificial intelligence, AMD recently reported an 18% fall in revenue, taking its 12-month total to $22 billion. Net income over the last 12 months has also turned negative negative at minus 25 million. The main reason is that AMD designs a lot of CPU chips used in computers instead of the GPU chips that are used in AI. Looking at the table you can see that AMD revenue is split fairly evenly across four segments. Data centers, client, gaming and embedded. Data centers, client and gaming revenue was all down in the first half of the year. Management's explanation for this was a weak PC market and lower consumer sales across the board. The exception is the embedded segment which grew 63%. This segment includes automotive and chip testing. So right now AMD doesn't offer the same exposure to AI as high-flying rival Nvidia. But AMD management knows this, which is why it's devoting significant resources to this area. According to analysts, AI deployments of its MI300 processor should start to ramp in the middle of next year. Also, AMD recently acquired two other businesses, Zlinks Inc. and Pindando Systems. The benefits of those acquisitions are only just starting to impact AMD. However, AMD is still an expensive stock, trading at 7 times revenue and 79 times free cash flow. And there's another problem. Many of the world's largest companies like Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft and Meta are increasingly developing their own chips, surpassing the need for companies like AMD. By designing their own chips, big tech can optimize performance and save billions. AMD still has a big part to play, especially in the testing of chips, but its key business of designing chips is coming under pressure. Overall, this is such an uncertain industry and a fast-moving market with lots of rivals. An investment in AMD comes with a significant amount of risk. That's why I'm giving the stock a neutral rating, but these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I've got no position in AMD stock. For more detailed investing ideas, make sure to visit our website, overlookedalpha.com.